two new speakers, two new evaluators, wonderful. No doubt you've heard the saying, even when opportunity knocks, a person still has to get up and open the door. But there's a twist. Because sometimes a person has to open the door, then walk right out in order to meet opportunity at the nearest networking function. <laughs> Please welcome our next speaker, Nell Guinness. <laughs> as she gets directly to the point and reminds us to never underestimate the power of a network. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. Ah, oh, fellow members, distinguished guests, how will you become the greatest networker in your field? Have you ever considered what that question might mean to you, to your future? to your life? What would happen if you became the greatest, the absolute greatest at building a network within your field? How many problems would it help you solve? If you had an expert, the right person to turn to to help you with the challenges that you face today? Have you ever needed insight or advice on a problem or a situation? or an unexpected opportunity, and you don't know what to do or how to handle it, move it forward. And no one you know has ever had to deal with such an issue. With the right network, your solution, the best solution, could have been just a phone call away. But without this network, you're left on your own. You're doing the best that you can with what you've got from where you're at, and with few resources at hand. Can you see why having a network can greatly improve the quality of your life and impact your future? Now you may be thinking, okay, I, I get it. I see why a network could be important. But why all this emphasis on it? I mean, in this tech forward age, you know, I can connect and share ideas by sending a text message, sending an email. I can find somebody on Facebook or just connect on LinkedIn. And that's so much more time effective. It's less hassle, it's easy. Just hit like, or I push <laughs> send, or I simply post something. And you know, when I have a problem or a challenge, I usually just Google it. And somewhere in there, there's an answer, there's a solution. So far that's worked out kind of okay. So why would I go through all the hassle of an in-person networking sort of effort? Why? Here's why. At the end of the day, people do business and build businesses with people that they like and trust. And you do that by being with people in person. You spend time with them face to face. All great networkers understand this principle and start with that end in mind. Sure, an attention-grabbing email or a Facebook posting about a special service the deal of the day, a once in a lifetime opportunity. That's gonna get some attention. It might even drive some business to your doorstep. But it will never lead to long-term professional advancement, rewarding, enriching personal relationships, or sustainable future success. Yes, technology is great for what it can do. And it absolutely has its place in networking. However, it is not the boost to the engine, it does not drive success. What drives success is personal relationships. Networking is a proven technique used by the most successful in every field in every country across the globe. It literally is the secret to moving your life and your goals forward. History and time have proven this principle to be both universal and irrefutable. So if you're lucky enough to be on this side of the dirt, you've got a pulse, and you're working for a living, then you need to know a few fundamentals in order to improve your networking skills. To become great, you need to put into practice some very straightforward and easy to implement actions. Here's the thing, most people fail to act on these simple techniques. I know, because I started out in this manner too. I was unsure of myself. I'd go to the events, I wouldn't know what to do, I wouldn't know what to say, I would fumble around trying to locate a group that I could sit with or talk to. And in general, I've met a lot of people 
but I didn't connect. Thankfully, I've become a greater networker over the years. And I have to thank those in my network who are great masterful networkers for teaching me a few of the great techniques. Here are five things that you should be doing or doing better to improve how you network. First, go to where the people are. Makes sense, right? The core of networking is meeting people in person, face to face. Ask others in your field about events, associations, networking meetings that they attend and that they would recommend for you. Something sounds interesting, tell them so. Heck, they might invite you along as a guest. That's relationship building. Now, the next step is really the most important one when you arrive at the event. This is number two, make a great first impression. A great networker is conscious of their body language. CNN Money attests that the single most important tip is to make steady eye contact with the person that you're speaking to. They also emphasize to not cross your arms in a closed body language. Always provide a face forward open body language to those that you're talking to and interacting with. The worst offenders, absolutely the worst offenders, hear me clearly on this, are those with their head down staring at the screen of their smartphone. They're going through and scrolling through things. Not only is that bad body language, that's just plain rude. <laughs> really, you are basically telling everyone in the room, this is more important than you. Leave me alone. And you're saying that to everyone in the room. Everybody's picking up on that. So please, don't do that. Third, Meet and greet with enthusiasm. One of the most basic tips to networking is to truly greet people as if they're an old college buddy or an old friend. Once you've started out on that warm, sincere type of greeting, you move right into a conversation where you are yourself. Be authentic. And then listen respectfully when they are speaking to you. Fourth, Always have business cards. Oh yes, always have them. And bring more than you think you'll need. Keep them easy to access in a pocket or your purse. No fumbling around. Oh, I think I might have one. Did I bring enough? None of that. Have them at the ready. Now, another important point is you do not paper the room, which means you do not distribute your card like Pez candy to everybody walking by. You do not place them in every chair in the row where you're seated. And don't deal them out like poker chips at the table where you happen to have plopped your butt. That makes you human spam. You don't want to be spam. Last one, always follow up. After connecting with a new contact, put them into your contact directory, your list, and then send them a quick note. Follow up on any details. On average, only one out of 20 people follow up post-event. This separates you from everyone else and gives you a clear advantage. And it also makes you very memorable in their mind. There you have it, the top five. Turn these tips into action and hone your networking skills. Soon you'll discover your ever-growing network will help your dreams and desires come true. Thank you, and happy networking.